Hi, welcome to another video. So, Stitch by Google has shipped another batch of updates. And this time, it actually feels like a proper step forward. They still don't have a neat change log, classic Stitch. But they've teased a lot on Twitter, and I've been using the product daily. So I wanted to walk through everything I found and demo the best parts. This one's more of an update plus demo, because a lot of these changes are interaction-focused, things you notice when you actually use the product. Quick background. If you haven't seen Stitch before, it started as an independent tool. I think the original name was Galileo. And then Google acquired it. It's an AI first design environment that lets you generate UI screens, import Figma designs, iterate with prompts, and export images or code like HTML slash Tailwind. It's not a full replacement for Figma yet, but with these updates, it's getting a lot closer for rapid prototyping. Okay, let's jump in. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Photogenius AI. Photogenius AI is an all-in-one AI-powered creation suite that lets you type anything and get stunning visuals instantly. Now also the best place to use Google's Nano Banana for images and VO3 for videos, plus affordable 3D model generation. Inside the image playground, Nano Banana shines for fast, high-quality image generation, and you can add reference images and do edits right in the tool. You also get Flux, Stable Diffusion, Kandinsky, and more in one place. The Video Playground supports Google VO3 with and without reference images, and you can render in different styles without the usual complexity. Great for coders who want results, not knobs. For 3D, you can upload a PNG, think a Lego build or a simple robot, and get a printable model. Cheap, quick, and surprisingly clean for rapid prototyping. Pricing is among the best for VO3 and Nano Banana, and you still have access to about 10 other handy AI tools like avatars, background removal, logo, emoji, ads, and app icons in the Creative Tool Suite. It starts at a low entry price, and you can take an additional 30% off with my coupon code KING30. Check Photogenius out through the link in the description and try it for yourself. Now, back to the video. First and most important, the model powering Stitch's design agent has been tuned to Gemini 2.5 Pro. Outputs are more refined. Spacing makes sense. Typography choices feel deliberate, and photo slash font pairings are noticeably better. I reran some older projects, and the difference was immediate less AI placeholder vibes and more real design intent. Stitch claims users preferred the new results by a big margin, and honestly, that matches my experience. Also included in the update, experimental mode got some love. You now get more experimental generations per month. It's bumped up to a usable limit. The 2.5 Pro model is available there, and they've added translation support across 30 plus locales, which is handy for multi language product explorations. There's also a general polish across the UI smoother tooltips, nicer layout, and fewer janky bits when switching screens. Now for the features you'll actually care about. First is Variance. Variance is great. Click any screen and hit Generate Variance, and Stitch will produce multiple alternate takes, different layouts, spacing, or stylistic directions, without you reprompting each time. It's perfect for exploring visual directions quickly. They've said custom prompts for Variance are coming, which will let you ask for cleaner, minimal variant, or bold, colorful variant, and get targeted alternatives. For rapid ideation, this accelerates the design loop hugely. Canvas now lets you generate an entire user flow at once. Instead of making screens one by one, you can ask Stitch to build a full sign-up onboarding dashboard flow, and it outputs a set of screens arranged as a flow. This is essentially what you do in Figma with multiple frames. But Stitch will generate them for you and even produce image assets to make designs feel real. It's a huge time saver for mapping product journeys. There's also the organizer. If your canvas gets messy, 
and at will. Organizer cleans and arranges everything into a tidy grid. Honestly, this is a small feature that becomes indispensable. One click and the whole flow is aligned and spaced. You can actually think again instead of fighting layout chaos. We've also got multi-select and batch prompts. This is one I use all the time now. Hold shift, select multiple screens, and apply a single prompt to all of them. Want rounded buttons across your whole flow? Select everything and tell Stitch, make primary buttons rounded and increase contrast. It updates all screens in one go. That keeps consistency without manual repetition. Also, sharing finally works like you expect it to. You can create a read-only link and anyone can view your project without logging in. Fast for client reviews, QA, or quick feedback. Stitch says this is the groundwork for a remix flow, so I expect collaborative forks and shared templates down the line. For now, the instant view link is a huge collaboration QOL improvement. Stitch now shows follow-up prompt suggestions after generation. So after it builds a screen, it might suggest add settings screen or create onboarding checklist. Hit one and it extends your project. It keeps the creative flow going instead of making you think of the exact next prompt. You can export designs as images or download the HTML slash Tailwind output. Tailwind export is nicely usable. Classes are coherent and easy to tweak. I still wish there was a direct React export, but the Tailwind HTML is a great halfway point for handing off to a front-end engineer. There's also an in-app full-screen preview and direct download button for quick assets. Experimental mode currently uses the Pro model and offers high-quality outputs, but some UI controls like color pickers are richer in standard mode. So if you need quick control over color or style, standard is still the faster, more interactive option. Experimental gives you the higher fidelity generations, but is slightly less tweakable in place at the moment. There's also a privacy toggle in settings to disable model training if you're privacy conscious. I'm going to demo a simple movie tracker app, Authflow, list of movies, add review screen, and a calendar view. I choose Experimental, Gemini 2.5 Pro, and prompt, create a movie tracker app with authentication, review screen, calendar, and a dark theme option. It builds the flow across multiple screens. You can see realistic asset images, a cleaner layout, and nuanced typography. Now I select all the screens and apply a batch prompt. Make primary buttons pill-shaped, increase CTA contrast, and use a warmer accent. Stitch applies changes across the flow. That's the power of multi-select plus prompts. Consistent updates in seconds. Taken together, Gemini 2.5 Pro, Variants, Canvas Generation, Organizer, Multi-Select, and Sharing. Stitch feels way more production-ready. It's faster to iterate ideas, keep consistency, and involve others without massive export slash import overhead. If you tried Stitch months ago and left, go back and try these features. It's a noticeably better tool now. That's it for this update. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.